my name is Greg Carbonetti. I'm a scientist here at Stony Brook University. And I want to talk to you today about a problem we have in our country in the form of climate change. Now, while we have a lot of people leaders on the market, uh, and they're effective, uh, a lot of them happen to be habit forming and cause very, very severe side effects. Uh, I'm sure you've seen those pharmaceutical commercials where you know, they talk about a drug and you're not quite sure what the drug's actually doing, you just hear the long laundry list of severe side effects. And you can question whether they work or not. Well, I actually have been a study of protein here at Stony Brook, and we're hoping that if we can design an inhibitor or a drug to block its function, that we might in fact be able to form non habit forming drugs that can be used to really change. I'm going to pivot one second here and ask how many people like ice cream? Anybody not raising your hand? The edge is on the side here. It's a little weird. Okay, that's good. Um, I want everybody to picture their favorite ice cream cone. You know, your favorite flavor, the cone holding it. And I ask you to do that because what my protein is can be kind of thought of as it's a cone to the ice cream. It's holding the ice cream. Now, when we consume ice cream, you know, we have the ice cream form of fat sitting in a cone, and we bring it to our mouth so we can enjoy it. And we break down those fats in the ice cream into a more usable form of energy. Well, within ourselves, we have my protein that takes fats and transports them to particular compartments within the cell so that they can get broken down into molecules that the cell can use. Now, these molecules that, you know, are created upon the breakdown of fats are used to produce lots of molecules used in the inflammatory response, you know, when you put that on and it becomes important. Now, while information can be a good thing in the form of wound repair and wound healing, you know, our body needs to go through that, um, just like a little bit of ice cream is not a bad thing, when we have prolonged inflammation or too, too much ice cream, this can cause problems in the form of chronic pain. So, I want to talk about the drug we're trying to design. I want you to think about it in the form of a small rubber ball or a cork. And what it does is it will actually fit into the protein, almost like a rubber ball fitting into the top of the cone. And it will stop that cone's ability to carry the fat to the parts of the cell where it can be broken down. By doing this, we're stopping these molecules that cause chronic pain and cause too much inflammation from being formed in the first place. So we're hoping that if we can tweak it just right and create this drug that can successfully and selectively block this protein from doing its job, we might actually be able to play a big role in the formulation of not having a form of pain uh, Thank you so much for your attention and wouldn't that idea be cheap.